Allergy season, a lot of people talking about this. Tree pollen, packing a punch. Yeah, we don't love those allergies. Mm. Aisha, no. you spoke with the local allergist. What do they have to say? Yeah, so he says it's definitely here early in Northeast Wisconsin. Dr. Kagan, he's pretty well known here in Northeast Wisconsin. He's been doing this for decades, and he's talking about uh, how it's a month early, these allergy reports for the tree allergy season, and it's pretty aggressive. So we want to head over to the First Alert Safety Desk. The first thing Dr. Kagan wants you to know this morning, what he mentioned to me right away, he says climate change is real. He says it affects everyone, our health. We need to get used to dealing with allergies for a longer period of time. Now moving forward, he says it impacts our economy too because farmers end up with less grain, making the food we eat more expensive. That has to do with precipitation, which we'll talk about in a second, but it's a domino effect. But here's something else that will surprise you this morning. It surprised me. The latest pollen report, we're looking at tree allergy season here again. It's a month early. Not only that, I want to show you the perspective for all of us here, the pollen count by comparison in 2022 at this time, the t pollen count itself, which is the average number of pollen grains per cubic meter was at 50. Then last year at this time, it was zero. This year, as of Wednesday this week, it was at 3,228. Dr. Kagan says he treats patients, not pollen count, but it does help to measure the risk we talk about how we've got that low risk, moderate or high risk for our allergies. And here's the Kagan Allergy Tracker, the website. Pretty helpful, but it also has a useful tool where you can see if your symptoms are cold, allergies or COVID even. He mentions how if it's allergies, you're not going to have a fever necessarily. But Dr. Kagan says a recent weather patterns and lack of moisture via rain or snow is what's really ramping things up. The dry conditions we talk about create more of that pollen because the trees are struggling. And you can see for today, what we talked about, the risk for tree allergies is very high. Moving forward, Dr. Kagan says the fall season will be interesting. He says ragweed will be just as aggressive. You'll want to go over to the weather tab on WBAY.com for the latest allergy report. It does include that link to the Kagan website. Again, really helpful. That way you know what to expect before you head outside and deal with those elements, Tammy. All right, thank you.